Hello everyone, my name is Maria Silva, an English teacher from Venezuela and a Spanish teacher at Georgetown High School for the last five wonderful years, inspiring my students to learn Spanish in a very communicative and meaningful way, from grammar and lexical content to discovering a new cultural and natural world beyond borders with National Geographic and learning about parks conservation in our community. The activity number one was the foundation for activity number two and the first step to plan our parks conservation bilingual event in our school, where students learn the contents about human and natural world connection, skills, perspectives, and the learning framework through different activities and real life examples using the National Geographic resources and other materials. And this is the most important story of our capstone video, where my Spanish 3 students plan a bilingual parks conservation awareness event at Georgetown High School cafeteria and media center as our theme for activity number two. The purpose of the event is to educate and inform our English and Spanish speaking community about conservation, highlighting the importance of the preservation of natural places in town. Right now, all my and I are all making posters for, to like promote park conservation and they're, we're gonna post them around the school and it's like basically telling all the Students design bilingual flyers using Google Slides with information from different websites, made their final presentation by using their laptops, pictures, described parks in Georgetown, analyzed the park's needs, provided solutions, and added an educational video about parks conservation organizations. Besides, they worked in groups of four to draw and paint posters about the importance of parks conservation, writing environmental quotes in English and Spanish by using poster paper, paintings, paintbrushes, crayons, pencils, and their own inspiration. They really enjoyed this project and felt so proud of themselves to promote environment awareness at school. The students and teacher went to the cafeteria during third block class and showed the posters all around the place, interviewed and recorded teachers and other staff about parks conservation in town, collected students' ideas and solutions for real parks problems, took pictures of all their work during the event, presented their final projects and videos about parks conservation in the media center in front of 35 students and some teachers as audience. Being in the media center, one of the students introduced and explained the learning framework and connections about the human, natural world, skills, and perspectives. The groups presented their awesome work, passed flyers out to the audience, collected the index cards, and read all the comments and suggestions to build up more ideas about parks conservation, writing them on a poster paper for further actions. You can put skate parks, uh, put them, uh, bring the trash cans out, and uh, a lot of security cameras and uh, basketball courts were also commonly requested. There is an entire connection between the human and natural world skills and perspective with the event. The students center their project in a local scale, Georgetown High School common areas, media center and recreational parks in town, described in a spatial viewpoint because it is a natural space part of our community, showing the location of all our parks in areas such as Sampi River, Winja Bay and Willowbank Road in Georgetown. Besides, there is a cultural perspective as a set of ideas, customs, social behavior, integrating Spanish and the Hispanic community as part of our visitors at parks and audience learning about conservation at school, finishing by an ecological perspective, interacting with our school environment to promote parks visits and maintenance projects in a very close future. Planning the event at school made us connect with different attitudes, skills, and knowledge areas. As for skills, they worked with collaboration and problem solving by actively participating in a collective work, designing and planning about parts in groups, reading all participants' ideas to evaluate results for possible problem solving in our community parks. Regarding attitudes, the students felt empowered by taking a very positive action in designing the event, coming up with awesome ideas for our parks and addressing their problems and positive aspects in areas around the community, assuming the responsibility of planning the event to make their contributions and how they can help to reduce the current problems. Finally, by presenting the event, students understood and provided ideas on how our town can explain the policies to protect the environment and change our planet, 
recognizing the importance of taking the most appropriate decisions that can have a big influence and impact in our world by promoting the conservation of not only parks, but wildlife and all wild places that surround it. Honestly, learning about the park so much just kind of empowered me just, just a lot to look at the parks in our area and think, how can I help make this a better park for our community and for all the people that uh, visit it on a regular basis? This certification course made me encounter with a different challenge and my students and I discovered a total interesting way to learn Spanish and make great contributions to our community development. My favorite part was learning about storytelling and capstone videos, which really encouraged me to make more storytelling from our learning experiences in the classroom. We'll say thank you National Geographic.